Okay, year 10s. So, I have a very special guest for you guys today. Um, as I know that we're all coming into that age where the temptation of drugs and alcohol and partying is becoming a lot more real, I thought I would bring someone in who has some real life experience with the negative consequences of uh, drug and alcohol abuse. Uh, so everyone, please welcome all the way from Melbourne, Curtis. Uh, good day, kids. How are you? Good. Good. Righto. So, uh, as you all know, I'm here to talk to you a lot about the uh, dangers of drugs and alcohol. So, look, I didn't come up in the last shower, guys. I know that um, this is the age you, you, you lot start, you know, going to parties, sipping on beers, fucking snorting pingers off the toilet seats at revs. I get it. Look. I've been to the Ipswich RSL and smoked crack in the toilets as a dare. Look, there's nothing that I haven't done. All right? Now, let's, let's go around the room and everyone will say the hardest drug that you've done. All right? Freckles, you. What, what do you got? Hey, it's okay. Don't look at him. You look at me. You can tell me. It's fine. Uh, um, fucking weed. Nice, nice. Bit pussy, but um... You know, it's a start. Uh, you, fit girl at the front, what, uh, tell us what you've done and don't fucking lie. Um, well, this 35-year-old gave me a bump of coke at the club. Now, that's what we fucking like to hear. Uh, righto, so for me, it's uh, crystal meth. And I know what you're thinking. That stuff's bad, No, not good news. And I'm here to tell you that that's correct. But that shit is fucking fun as fuck. This one night, I was so cooked up on yeah, like, guys, look, honestly, stay away from that stuff. I get it, you're all young, you want to fucking have a good time, but you just don't want to end up naked at 7.30 in the morning on a Tuesday in the middle of Ligon Street with 36 missed calls from your wife telling you to fucking drop the kids off at school. Not that that's happened to me, but, um, yeah, anyway, moving on. Uh, so, hands up if you've ever been offered drugs at a party before. Okay, so what you want to do when that happens is just remember that you only say yes if they're willing to do it with you. So I remember this one time at this bar in Richmond, this cunt came up to me and said, uh, do you want one of these green Pikachus? And I said, no way, cunt. And then he said, I'll give it to you for free. Uh, so obviously I said yes, long story short, um, when I woke up, I was in the... Uh, Tibet airport with customs being questioned for um, trying to smuggle a live chicken into the country and see the, the point of the story is how do I've been smart enough to say to him I'll only do it if you do it with me then I would have not been in Tibet by myself and I wouldn't have had to fly home alone so it's just about being smart with these things um, Curtis, why don't you tell the students about the uh, negative side of drug and alcohol abuse and how, it, how it's negatively affected you? Uh, yeah, so um, look, as fun as drugs and alcohol are, there are a few consequences uh, that might arise. Like for example, uh, when I was 14, I was at the family barbecue, had a few beers and then uh, one thing led to another and when I came to, I was um, partaking in a 32 person orgy in, in, in Abbotsford. And, as fun as that may sound and was, it's not really good to do that sort of stuff. So those are just some of the consequences you need to really consider when your mate says, let's train wreck these pingers. What does uh, train, train wreck mean? Oh, a train wreck, it's just uh, when you swallow and shelf a pinger at the same time and they meet in the middle. It's fucking fun as, you should try it. But um, yeah, no, there actually are consequences though. Like my wife of two weeks left me um, because I was in this fucked K-hole and for 72 hours I thought, I believed that I was a fucking soldier fighting in Vietnam, you know, battling off the rebel, rebels. So she just fucking couldn't handle that. So, um, yeah, I actually kind of loved her a bit too. So in closing, just remember kids, don't do drugs. But if you're going to, buy them from me. Okay, we're done here. You know, it's a start. Uh, you, nerd looking cunt, what have you done? H have you explained? I one take everything. Nice.